Today I'm going to show you how to create a compound clip that can be shared uh, with multiple Final Cut projects. If you're not familiar with compound clips, um, they're a way of grouping multiple elements together into a single clip. They could be uh, audio tracks, video tracks, titles, transitions, etc. All of that can be grouped together into a simple single uh, clip. So e people use these for intros, for outros, or even if you have a complex edit that you don't want cluttering up your timeline, you can condense it into a compound clip and that way it streamlines your timeline and makes working with your project just overall easier. If you look at my timeline here, it looks at first glance that I only have three elements. I have a first clip, I have a transition, and I have a third clip. But in actuality, this first clip is a compound clip. If I double clip, double click on the clip, it will reveal that that clip is made up of multiple clips, multiple audio clips, multiple video clips, a transition, and some titles. Um, so I'm going to show you how to create one of these that can be used with multiple projects in Final Cut. So the first thing you're going to do is create an event in your event library. Um, as you can see, I have already created an event and I've imported all of the clips that I'm going to use to create my compound clip. Next, go and create a new project, a blank project. Let's give it a name. Okay. And then add some uh, video and audio to your timeline. So in point out points here and in the interest of time I'm not really gonna worry about what the video actually looks like just uh, know that we have some elements in here and drag it down I'm gonna add a image and I'm gonna add some audio Next, I'll go ahead and add a title. So for good measure, I'm just going to add one more clip to the end, in point, out point, there, and throw in some transitions. And I'm going to lower the volume on these audio, excuse me, on these video clips so the music will play louder than the audio in the video clips. Then I will just uh, trim the rest of the clip. Okay, great. So now I have an edit with uh, multiple transitions, multiple audio, multiple video, and even a logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a control A to copy all of the clips and do a control C, excuse me, not control, command A and then command C. Then I'm going to go back up into my uh, event. I'm going to go to file new compound clip, give it a name, test clip, and then I'm going to double clip on it, double click on it to open it up in the timeline and do a command V to paste my clips into the compound clip. So now I basically have a compound clip here 
which now I can use in any Final Cut project. So if I go back to my project window, if I open up, let's say, test project three, I can take this compound clip and basically just drag it in to this project. And now it just becomes a part of this project. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the eighth wonder of the world. Now that the compound clip is in my project, it can be edited like any other clip um, or any other compound clip can. So if I double clip, double click on the clip, I will see all of the elements that make up the compound clip. So I can make a quick change to uh, uh, the, the opening title. And when I come out of the clip, go back to the main timeline, I will see that change. Uh, one thing to keep in mind though, even though you modified this compound clip, it does not change it back in the original uh, event. So if I go back and if I click on the event here, um, you'll notice it still has test compound clip as the title. It didn't change the final cut rocks. So just be mindful of that when you are editing. So if you have any questions or concerns, throw them in the comments and I'll answer as many as I can.